Hi everyone, so this is the list of fastest growing function from f0 to the gardens function. So we're gonna start from the slowest growing function to the fastest growing function. So let's get started. So f here, of course, it means the fast growing hierarchy. So f0 is kind of like the first step and basically is uh, the same or kind of the same as addition. Um, and again, the examples here or the functions here, they are, uh, some of them are just approximation. They are not exactly equal. So anyway, um, and then F1, we have multiplication. So you can kind of treat it as repeated addition. So each level up is the uh, repeat of the previous step. So next one, F2, we have exponentiation, which is, of course, repeated multiplication. And F2, we also have a few other functions that have a growth rate of around F2, which is, of course, the factorial function. And we also have the triangle function from the um, steinhaus moser notation. And we have the, of course, the single up arrow, which is basically the same as the exponentiation. And then we have two entry, train, a chain arrow notation, and also two entry BEAF or BEEF. And next, F3, we have a tetration or power tower. Basically, they, they are kind of equivalent. And then we have the nested factorial function. And then we also have the square function, again, from the steinhaus moser notation. And then, and then we have the double arrows. And next, we have the F4, so pentation, um, and also the pentagon or circle function from the Steinhau Moser notation, and we have the triple arrows. Next, F5, we have hexation, which is basically four arrows. And then F6, haptation, five arrows. F7, octation, which is six arrows. So you can kind of see the pattern here. Basically, F of M is basically around equal to um, M minus one of arrows in your function. Next, uh, another example would be f of g64. In that case, your function will have g64, around g64 number of up arrows. However, the number of arrows is fixed, is not growing as your function grows. So let's say your n, when your n gets bigger, the number of arrows doesn't get any bigger. It's fixed. And then the next one is uh, f of 3, 3. Again, then your function, it means there are around f, I mean, there are around 3, 3 number of up arrows. Again, the number of arrows is fixed. It's not increasing. Only the n increase. So for example, 2 with 3, 3 number of arrows n so only n increase the up arrows doesn't increase and basically from f0 to f of 3 3 so basically from row 1 to row 11 they are all um, belong to the primitive recursive functions which is the first group of function over here and then we arrive at the second group of functions which is called the recursive function. Um, so first we have f of omega, which is row 12. And examples would include n number of up arrows. So in this case, you can see the number of up arrows is increasing as well. Therefore, um, this is why f of omega grows faster than any f of m so it doesn't matter how big m is as long as it's a finite number f of omega will always outgrow it in the long run not, not necessary in the short run but in the long run it will always grow faster that's why we have the ordinal omega over here so kind kind of mean trans infinite trans finite you know um it's bigger than any finite ordinal basically um so um again f let's say two with n number of arrows n so the arrow is increasing as well and the next example of f omega we have the argument function 
and also the limit for the Steinhaus Mosen notation and then we have the hyper E notation and also three entry chain arrow and also three entry BEAF next we have F of Omega plus one examples include GN so the G sequence from Graham's number so G1, G2, G3, G64 of course is the uh, Graham's number and then we have the chain arrow notation uh, with uh, 3, 3, and 2, so 4 entry. And then we have uh, expansion from the BEAF, which you can also write it as A with two brackets 1B or simply AB12. Next, F omega plus 2 uh, examples would include G, 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 G with n number of Gs of n, so g again is the uh, gram sequence. Next we have uh, 3, 3, n 3 in the chain arrow notation, and then we also have a, b, 2, 2 in b, e, a, f, or a, 2 brackets, 2, b, they are the same thing. Next we have f omega plus 3, examples include 3, 3, n 4, a, b, 3, 2, or something like that in b. Next o, uh, f of omega times 2, which is basically the same as f of omega plus omega. Examples include 3, 3, 3, n in the chain arrow notation or a, b, n, 2 in b. Next, f omega times 2 plus 1, we have chain arrow notation 3, 3, n, 2, I mean 3, 3, 3, n, 2, 5 entries in this case, or a, b, 1, 3 in b. Next, f omega times 2 plus 2, examples 3 3 3 and 3 or a b 2 3 and then f of omega times 3 we have n i mean 3 3 3 3 n or a b n 3 next we have f of omega times 3 plus 1 which is 3 3 3 3 n 2 or a b 1 2 in b next we have f of omega times omega uh, which is equal to f of omega square, which is n, 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 with n number of n's in the chain arrow notation, which is basically equal to the CG function from the Conway guy function, basically, uh, it's just another way to write the Conway chain arrow notation, or in terms of beef, it will be n, 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 n with four entries or 4n n in this case. Again, this is another notation for BEAF. Next, we have f of omega times 2 plus 1, which would be AB112 in B. And then f of omega square plus 2, we have AB212. f of omega cube, we have n, 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 5 entries uh, BEAF or 5n n. And then f of omega to the power of 4, we have uh, n, 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 6, n, n. So we can see the pattern here. And then eventually you reach another group, uh, which is, you know, kind of can be, I mean, is provably uh, total in piano arithmetic. Um, and, you know, those groups are more powerful than just simple recursive functions that we just talked about but they can still be proven total in piano arithmetic. So basically, f of omega to the omega examples include n, 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 n with n number of n's in the beef, which is uh, equal to n, n, n. Um, and this is the limit for the linear array notation and also the extended hyper E notation. Next, we have f of omega to the omega to the omega, which is the growth limit for the dimensional array. And then next, we have another group which is more powerful than the, um, I mean, which is which cannot be proven total in piano ar arithmetic, which includes f of epsilon naught. And for this growth rate, examples include the tetrational array, which is the uh, most powerful form of beef that is well defined. And then we have the Goodstein sequence, the Kirby, Paris, uh, Hydra, and also the cascading E notation. Next, we have F of eta. So another ordinal over here, examples will be the nested cascading E notation. Next, we arrive at another group, which is more powerful than the previous group. Um, and um, But it can still be proven total in the ZFC theory. 
And then, so the first one is we have the F of the uh, Ackermann ordinal here, which includes the extended cascading E notation. And then we have the hyper extended cascading E notation. Next, we have F of the small uh, Weben ordinal, which is the tree functions, the weak tree and the regular tree. Um, I know the regular tree grows much faster than the small tree or the weak tree, but um, according to Wikipedia, I mean, Googleology Wiki, they are around, you know, in the grand scheme of things, they are around the same, I guess. They're mo they're both higher than the F of um, the small verbin ordinal. Next, we have the SSCG function and the SCG function. Well, basically, in this case, they are about the same growth rate. They're both um, around F of the BO. <laughs> I think something called BO. You can look it up yourself. Um, those ordinals are hard to pronounce anyway. Um, and then the next we have the BH function, another hydra over here, which is um, even more powerful than tree and SEG. Next we have the Burt's array notation, uh, which is F of the uh, something called the EBO ordinal. Of course, those are AB version. Next we have the hyperfactorial array notation. And next we have the Taran OSGIC or the TAR function. Um, and from now the ordinal is not even clear and uh, we're not sure the exact ordinal. I mean some people may give it an ordinal but again it's not proven. So that's why I'm just going to put question mark uh, from now. So and next we have the strong array notation and next we have the Y sequence and then lastly we have the loader.c the loaders function which is the highest in this group and next we have another group which is um, these two functions here the Federman's finite I mean the finite promise games and the greedy click sequence they are said to be even more powerful than the one that we just saw, including the loaders function, they cannot be proven total in the CFC set theories. Next, we have uh, arrived at the uncomputable functions. They grow faster than any computable function. So we have the BCB function. Um, next, we have the maximum shifts function, which is basically a variant of the BCB var. Um, it counts the maximum number of steps that can be printed in the Turing machine. I mean, BCB var is the maximum number of ones. The maximum shifts is the maximum number of steps. Next, we have the M order BCB var which is of course based on the BCB beaver, but stronger. Some people call it the super BCB beaver. And then next we have the XI function. Next we have the infinite time Turing machine, which is also based on the BCB beaver. And then next we have the rails function. And then we have the foot function, and this is ill-defined basically, but you know, people said, you know, if it's, if it's well-defined, it's, you know, it's created just to beat rails function. And next we have the gardens function. So sort of basically it doesn't have a name, but basically that's the function that uh, generates the gardens number, the larger number gardens number. And as you know, I skip uh, a few, some people may say I skip a few numbers or function, like, let's say the um, Bigadin or the Sasquatch or Oblivion, those kind of numbers. But however, those are all you define and they don't have a named function with it. They are just numbers. So basically that's why I didn't include them. And then lastly, we have the iota function, which is the function that creates Holmes number. Again, this is an EU defined function. I mean, rail and garden is kind of half well defined anyway. But the last one is EU defined. It basically, I put it at the end because in theory, it could be uh, more powerful than any previous uh, function, including the garden function. Because basically, what it means is the um, it's kind of like the fastest growing function that human have ever created in let's say a thousand years something like that so basically it includes every single function including the garden function any function that humans has ever created 
but of course that's ill-defined so anyway this is the list of uh, fast growing function so anyway thanks for watching and have a nice day